Trucking is really the, the lifeblood of the U.S. economy. There's a great saying in the trucking industry, if you bought it, a truck brought it. Meaning, you know, everything we use is uh, pretty much is brought by trucks. We're developing a system to improve safety and efficiency of trucks by using advanced sensing and communications. You can think of it a little bit like cruise control in your car in that we control the gas and the brake, but we do it for a pair of trucks uh, using a direct communication link between those trucks. So as the driver of the rear truck, you are steering. The driver of the front truck steering as well. These, these are not automated trucks. We're just adding to the ability of the drivers. On the front truck, there's a radar sensor looking 800 feet down the road, sensing any obstacle. It detects that and then automatically applies the brakes in both trucks. The radar sensor can see farther than a human driver can reliably see, and it can do it every time. A human driver typically takes one to two seconds to react to, to whatever is in front of you. Uh, we can do it in about a hundredth of a second. Inside the truck, uh, we try to change the driver's experience as little as possible. We add you know, a video display on the windshield that shows you the view from the other truck, uh, controlled to engage and disengage the system, but fundamentally you're just driving your truck. Certainly, you know, fuel is the biggest expense uh, for fleets. It's about 40% of the operating expense of a, of a typical fleet. These trucks typically spend about $100,000 a year on diesel fuel per truck. The efficiency comes from the fact that we can safely put the trucks closer together than what's safe when you're manually driving, and from aerodynamics, so reducing wind resistance, uh, we save fuel for both trucks. We've tested the system. We've driven over 10,000 miles uh, so far in our, in our prototype trucks in platoon formation. The first large-scale deployments will be next year, in, in 2015, and that's when uh, you'll start seeing a lot of these trucks out on the road platooning.